everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and here you'll find macrame, DIY home decor, and the occasional room makeover. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made this DIY dip dye wall hanging. Let's get started. For this project, I used some 3mm macrame cord, some writ dye, two 4 foot long wooden boards, some wood stain, a cloth, a staple gun, some wood glue, and some clamps. The first thing I did was measure out exactly how long I would want this as I'd be hanging it over our couch. I then decided to cut my cord into 140 8 foot long strands. To get to 8 feet, I simply just doubled the length I wanted my wall hanging, which was 3 feet, and then added a couple extra feet as I know the die will somewhat shrink my cord. And then to make dip dyeing easier, I decided to hang my cord on these six wooden rings and use a gathering knot to keep them secure. I then boiled about 50 cups of water to 140 degrees Fahrenheit as instructed on the writ dye or 60 degrees Celsius as you'll see here. And then I poured all of my water into this large plastic bin and as instructed on the writ dye, I added in some dish soap, a cup of salt, and then about half the bottle of dye. I then stirred it with a metal spoon and then dipped in my cord using the spoon to press down all of my strands. Then to get the ombre look, I simply just pulled my cords out little by little, soaking the bottom parts a little bit longer. You could also add in some extra dye or add a different color to give it a more dramatic effect. And here's how it was looking when I decided to rinse it all out and let it dry. And as it was drying, I went ahead and sanded down my boards and got them ready to stain with this early American stain I already had on hand. And here's a look at my cords all dry. As you can see, the ombre effect is very subtle, but that's kind of the look I was going for. I then went ahead and unknotted all of my gathering knots from my cords. And as you can see, my line of my die starts different on every strand. And that was kind of intentional because I plan on placing these cords staggered all the way across my boards. And that way it'll create a bit more of a zigzag effect rather than a straight line all the way across. And then of course I began stapling all of my cords at the center piece all the way across my board. Okay, so this is just what I have so far. I'm about a third of the way there. And as you can kind of see, you can kind of see how my pattern is just going up and down, up and down, up and down. I didn't really want it to be perfect there, but I think I like how it's looking so far. So we're just going to keep on stapling. And then once all my cords were stapled, I then used these two small little pieces of scrap wood and I stained those as well. That way I could use them to attach both my boards together. The first thing I did was measure out across the back of my first board where all the cords were stapled to in order to attach some hardware for hanging. I then used my wood glue to glue the extra piece of wood to my first board. Then I glued that piece to glue my other board on top.
And lastly, I clamped that all down to dry. Once that was all secure, I then secured it to the wall. And then I brushed out all of my cords to make sure they were all straight and even. I then measured out and cut the length that I wanted on either side of my wall hanging. And then I used a piece of tape to mark my line and cut straight across. And as I was cutting it straight across, I then decided to do kind of a tiered effect. At first, I just cut it different in length by a little bit, and then I ended up going back and cutting an additional six inches for each of my sections on either side. And here's how it turned out. turned out I'm still debating whether or not I should have cut it at the tiers or if I should have just had it straight across let me know your guys' opinion in the comments below and of course if you like this video don't forget to click that like button below and don't forget to subscribe for more macrame DIY home decor and household projects I'll see you guys on the next one bye